Well, Mark's usually the handy guy around the RV and fixes just about everything that needs fixing. But today I've got a fix it job and it's here in the shower. Uh, been having a little problem in the mornings with the water not draining properly and I suspect it's because of my big mane of hair. I've got all of this hair going down the drain and clogging it up. I'm going to try and demonstrate this for you and see if it's going to do it again. So you can see how slow the water is. It's not draining very effectively. So today we're going to fix that with a really quick, simple, easy, cheap solution that is septic safe. If you end up with this problem at home in your stick and brick, you probably just run out and buy some Drano from Home Depot or the supermarket. You can't do that in an RV because you need to be very careful of what you put down your tanks. Now this is something you can do in any drain. It doesn't have to be just an RV and you can do it in any home especially if you prefer going natural rather than buying chemicals as we prefer. So I've googled and found a really nice easy solution that's natural and that uses only baking soda and vinegar. So what I'm going to do is take the drain plug out first, run my little snake down the drain and see if I can pull any offending clumps out before I put the baking soda and the vinegar down. Give it a chance to all do its magical chemical bubbling thing and hopefully loosen up all that gunk and send it down the drain. So this is just a simple Phillips head screwdriver. It's just one screw in the middle of the drain here. So it's super easy to remove. That's a little bit gunky, so I'll give that a good clean. I'm going to run my little snake down the drain to see what comes up. These are only like a dollar or two usually from the hardware store or the supermarket. Apologies in advance if any gross looking gunk stuff comes up. Oh, Ew. oh gross. <laughs> <laughs> can you pass me the trash can please? So I think this could be having something a little to do with the problem here. It's just hair but still. Ugh. Probably should have worn some gloves for this, but <laughs> well, you can see there's more coming out here too. All right. Well, I don't have any gloves handy, but my handy assistant over here, Mark, <laughs> got me some Clorox wipes. It smells a bit gross too. <laughs> Just all soap and ugh, gunk and hair. At least I don't have to deal with the black tank stuff. I was stuff, just so. going to say, at least you're not <laughs> dumping tanks right now. Oh, <laughs> yuck. I think that's going to have a lot to do with the drain problem, but just to be sure, I'm also going to use my little baking soda and vinegar trick. First thing I'm going to do is put some hot water down the drain just to start loosening stuff up. Let's just on full blast there. Hot. So you can see even by taking all that hair gunk out, it's still having trouble draining properly. So step two is to put the baking soda down the drain. And I've already measured out a cup of baking soda here. I think you could do half a cup or a cup. I've got a cup here. So I've packed the baking soda in there. Now I'm going to pour the vinegar down. And that's going to cause a bit of a bubbling explosion-y kind of a effect here and that supposedly loosens the gunk and sort of shocks it to move. So I'll probably let that sit for half an hour or an hour or so and then I'll come back and check on it shortly. Okay let's see if this is going to drain much faster now. We've cleaned that out. already improved. Well, that worked. So I'll be able to have a shower in the morning without having to worry about having a swimming pool at my feet. And I just feel a lot better knowing all that gunky hair is not down there anymore. So I hope that was a helpful tip. And if you've got any other suggestions for how to unblock drains safely for RVs, put them in the comments below.